He's been called a rainbow chaser, a daredevil, an adventurer. He's known to millions of people around the world as Captain America. He's been dubbed by the media as the greatest adventure cyclist the world has ever produced. His name is Kevin Foster, and he likes to think of himself as a realistic dreamer. On July 2nd, 1968, Kevin was electrocuted as he came in contact with a live wire at the top of a tree. His body absorbed 65,000 volts and 30 amps. The doctors told his parents he would never walk or talk again. Eight years of life and memories were completely erased. It would take four years for Kevin to regain the use of his legs again and even longer before he could speak properly. But by 1972, he was completely free from the wheelchair and back on a bicycle with training wheels. And then one day, Kevin's life was forever changed when President Richard Nixon met with Chairman Mao Zedong atop the Great Wall of China. That's when the dreaming began. In a single instant, Kevin had a clear-cut goal to one day become the first person to ride a bicycle atop the Great Wall of China from one end to the other. It would take him 18 persevering years to complete the 2,000 mile journey. Since the China adventure, Kevin has devoted himself to turning his dreams into reality, achieving a Guinness World Record for traveling the entire New York subway system in the least amount of time to earning the 1990 Cyclist of the Year Award over his friend three-time Tour de France champ Reg LeMond. Kevin has also taken his bike to the highest natural points in each of the 50 United States on a tour called American Summits to the longest bicycle trek in the history of Cuba. And his dreams were not contained to just a single area, but took him beyond the bike with acting, writing, and producer credits on various projects. To Motivational Talks, where he brings the message of becoming a realistic dreamer to hundreds of schools and corporations around the country. And now, Kevin is bringing the art of dreaming to a whole new level with his nonprofit, Foster Dreams, where people of all ages can be guided in making their own dreams come true. I've been blessed since the accident. Ever, what I like to say is that I'm glad I got my death over with at a young age so that I could begin to live my life. Foster Dreams is the embodiment of what I've always envisioned, that America is the land of dreams and opportunities, and if one is willing to work hard and persevere, they can turn their dreams into realities. With Foster Dreams, what we're doing is, at this point, is that we're getting together and we're raising funds to build a dream fund for our various projects, like our Youth Corps, where we could take inner city children and bring them to the great outdoors and give them challenges. And by those challenges, we can then show them how to turn their dreams into realities. Other projects that we have going for Foster Dreams at this time is Activate California and Activate America. Activate California is simply to get people of all ages up off the couch, unwired, spend a day outside, spend some time, come on out with us, enjoy a bike ride, enjoy some exercise. Activate California will then proceed into Activate America, where we take our entire program that we've used in California and, and give it out to the nation and get the nation's people to come and join us in not only fun and exercise, but to show them how their dreams can come true. As Foster Dream's mission statement is, we want to show people of all ages, we want to inspire them to where their dreams can come true, no matter how great their wall may be. Dreamers rule. And it is the dreamers who make the greatest difference and contributions in this world. 
So I'm asking you, dare to dream with me. Dare to be a part of what we're doing, a part of Foster Dreams. Dare to show the rest of the world that dreams can come true. Dare with me to achieve the impossible and the extraordinary. Thank you.